Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have a function psi, which is defined on C close interval 0, 1 and norm infinity to R. It is defined in this way. Psi of f is equal to f of 0. We have to prove that psi is a continuous function. So let us start with the given information. So psi is defined on this matrix space. So let us talk about that matrix space first and then we will go for continuity. Getting? So we have we have C close interval 0, 1. It represents set of all continuous functions defined on close interval 0, 1. So let me mention the set of all continuous functions defined defined on close interval 0, 1. So let me show here. So this is y axis, this is x axis, we have 0, 1. So we can have plenty continuous functions which are on this close interval 0, 1. So it is a set of all such continuous functions, getting? And norm infinity. So let us talk about norm infinity. Norm f infinity is defined as in this way, supremum of mod f of t, t belongs to close interval 0, 1. Let us try to understand what it means. So this is x axis. So this is y axis and this one is x axis. Okay. So this is close interval 0, 1. Suppose we have a function like this. So you can, if you take its mod, that means its positive value only. So we get its maximum value here. Getting So this maximum value is nothing but that norm f infinity. Getting So in this way that norm f infinity is defined. So now we have to prove that. Let me mention to prove that psi is continuous on that domain c close interval 0 1. So we have to prove psi is continuous at each and every point of c close interval 0 1. We are talking about point but actually these are continuous functions that means psi is defined on a set of continuous function. So we have to prove that psi is continuous for each and every continuous function defined on this close interval 0 1. So when we want to prove this thing, what we do, we take any arbitrary point from this set and we prove that psi is continuous at that point. So let us take one arbitrary point, let, I am calling it as f0, belongs to c close interval 0, 1, be any arbitrary point, actually it is a function, getting it is arbitrary point. So actually we take arbitrary point, but he, this is a set of functions. So that point will be our function getting. So this is a function we have. Uh, so now to prove that now to prove that psi is continuous at this f naught. Okay. So let us talk about what we have to prove exactly. We are familiar with epsilon delta definition. So that definition says for given epsilon, there exists delta such that, such that, so we are talking about domain having this norm. So norm f minus f naught, this is infinity less than delta implies, implies, see in a co-domain, we have a matrix space R with a usual distance. So that's why I should consider mod psi f minus psi of f naught less than epsilon. This thing we have to prove then we can say the function psi is continuous at f0. So initially we need to take one epsilon. So let us take epsilon. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given. Okay. So for this epsilon we have to find delta which will satisfy that condition. So let us take one delta now. We take delta is equal to let me write delta is equal to but see right now we don't know what should be our delta. So that's why I'm keeping it blank. We will go further and we will try to prove this one. At the end we will realize yes, this should be our delta. So we will get that condition. So in that case we will fix our delta. Okay, so let us continue. So I'm keeping it blank. So let me remove this part. So we will have some more space to write. Just a minute. Let me remove this one. Okay, so I will go with a definition. So consider, consider norm f minus f naught 
infinity less than delta implies we have to prove mod psi of f minus psi of f naught we have to prove it is less than epsilon that thing we have to prove right see here the domain with norm infinity so that's why i use norm infinity here and codomain with a usual distance so that's why i use mod there getting so this is equal to psi of f so the definition of psi of f says it is nothing but f of 0 and psi of f naught same definition we have to apply so we'll have f0 of 0 so we can take 0 common that means f minus f0 0 right see we are talking about a single point 0 so obviously it is less than or equal to supremum okay i am taking a supremum of the same mod f minus f naught of t for t belongs to close interval 0 1 so actually we are talking about the value at 0 but when you take a supremum over the entire interval obviously the supremum will be greater than or equal to that single point get it so this is definition of norm infinity right same definition we have just at a place of f we have f minus f naught so its value of norm f minus f naught infinity but see we have already stated norm f minus f naught in infinity is less than delta so we can write it is less than delta actually what we have to prove we have to prove it is less than epsilon and finally what we got less than delta so my choice of delta should be epsilon getting so here i'm taking a delta is equal to epsilon so here also we can do the same is equal to epsilon so therefore what we, we can conclude we can conclude here norm f minus f naught infinity less than delta implies mod psi of f minus psi of f naught less than epsilon so definition of continuous function is satisfied and we can declare therefore psi is continuous at f naught so let me mention therefore psi is continuous at f naught but see f naught is any arbitrary point of this uh, set c close interval 0 1 so therefore we can declare psi is continuous on this domain c close interval 0 1 let me mention that thing just make a screenshot of it so here f naught is any arbitrary function of this c close interval 0 1 so therefore we can declare therefore psi is continuous on this c close interval 0 1 so in this way we proved that psi is a continuous function so example is over, make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.